Alright, so I'm sitting in my hotel in Canberra and I have nothing better to do, so I figured I'd finally uh, give my thoughts uh, on the screwdriver Mark II, the electronic cigarette that I purchased. Uh, this is mainly for people on my Facebook account uh, who are aware of the fact that I switched over to electronic cigarettes and quit smoking. It's not going to be as in-depth as, as you know most things are. I don't have the packaging, I don't have anything else of that nature. Uh, it's more just to give people a look at it, see what it produces vapor-wise some thoughts that I have on it. So <clears throat> I've got it here. It's a rather simple construction. You've got a battery. You've got the shell for the battery. It just screws together. If I can ever get it. Mine's pretty scratched up because I've been using it now for about a month, two months. Got a button for engaging the atomizer. The button's actually really, really shitty because to it, it comes there's a cap that comes on a lanyard that you can put over the button to stop it from engaging, but it's a very crappy system, so I don't use it. But then you face the even larger problem, which is if you put it in your pocket on a number of times, uh, I've had it engage the heat source and have it start burning into my leg. So I haven't really figured out a better way, but I'm not using the stupid cap that came with it. Um, you have an atomizer, which is what heats up to cause the Nicotine to vaporize. Nothing particularly exciting there. Um, <clears throat> I've been using the same two flavors on this one all weekend, but this isn't really about the flavors again. It's just to show you what it looks like, how it works. Um, I've got some of my favorite juices here. Um, while the Chinese juices aren't bad from the generic Chinese places, I mean, I have a feeling they all originate in China anyway. Um, I'm smoking some juices from OK Smoky. I've got uh, double drum, I've got coffee, and these are the 30 milligram liquids, uh, because I find it's what keeps me off the cigarette. Um, I've also got the juices that came with the screwdriver, which is the Totally Wicked juices. Now, while I liked the tobacco flavored juice that came with it, I also ordered a 30 mil bottle of uh, coffee, which, to be honest, wasn't so brilliant. Now, most people I would suggest starting out with e-cigarettes would probably be using carts that either come with it or filling their own carts using the juices. I find that to be a shit method. Uh, I like to directly drip straight onto my atomizer just because it produces more vapor. And trust me, we all want more vapor. So you just put four just directly dripped into it. I've already put a few in. Now this is actually fully charged <coughs> at this point, so while it's not brand new, um, it is more than charged enough to actually give, you know, quite a brilliant vape, so we'll just give it a chance to run through. The light's really interfering with the fact that you know, I can't show anything. One moment. Now, while the light actually interferes, obviously, with the ability for you to see, you just have to trust me on this. It produces an incredible amount of vapor. Um, I find that the OK Smoky juices are far better than the normal juices for actually producing vapor uh, and again it could just be the fact that this is a 30 milligram juice but this is more than enough you know to not not just keep me away from cigarettes but I mean it's somewhat replicated the cigarettes when I first started using electronic cigarettes I'd, I'd vape consistently all day long um, with a juice of this strength any any more than 10 minutes at a time every half an hour or so is just not not doable you'll very quickly start to feel sick your throat dries out I'm not particularly brilliant at this, but <clears throat> for those that are already smokers of e-cigarettes, just some other particulars. Um, I've shown it to a few friends who also smoke e-cigarettes because I've gotten quite a lot of people into it. Uh, you know, there's three or four people at my office now all vaping, my housemates vaping, uh, another friend of mine's vaping, but they all tend to, at this point, stick to the pen styles, which are actually a, a, lot, a lot smaller than this. 
Um, a lot of people really don't want to carry this around because they think it looks, you know, rather dicky. But my point to those people is, you know, does carrying a cigarette around make you look heaps manly? I mean, I, I never got it. I never thought that smoking a cigarette made me look cool, let alone, you know, worrying about whether or not this makes me look cool. Um, I'm, I'm more than happy to look like an idiot, you know, smoking this in a public club, you know, that I'd rather continue to spend the rest of my life chuffing down, you know, cancer-causing chemicals. Um, I've been on e-cigs now for three months, and I haven't had any cigarettes in that point. Um, actually, that's probably a lie. I probably had three in that time, but I haven't had any recently. Um, I don't feel the urge to smoke, um, <clears throat> really, at all. Um, ignore the fact that I do cough. I actually have a sinus disease, which causes... Uh, fluid from my sinuses to travel down into my chest, which causes me to cough. So no, I'm not dying from cigarettes or from vaping. Um, it uses the 901 atomizers by default. You can get an adapter to switch it over to the 510 atomizers. I don't particularly like the 510 atomizers. I find they don't last nearly as long. Um, I can get a good month to two months um, out of these atomizers. That's based off my usage uh, and the usage of those people that I've put onto vaping. Um, the reason I went for this, because it is quite expensive and it isn't a higher voltage unit, is because I wasn't really interested in a higher voltage unit. I had tried them before. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't mind them. But for me, it was all about the battery. And I'll get a more than a, a good day's vaping out of this without having to recharge, without having to swap batteries. Um, <clears throat> that being said, they do ship it with two batteries. If I can ever get it out. Fuck me. Ah. The hotel uses the world's dodgy assistance for plugging shit in. You know, they ship it They ship it with a charger. It is an overseas charger, so you will need to, you know, just get an adapter for it, which is easy enough. It's annoying. Um, but again, there's really not much to the whole the, the whole process. Uh, this is $100 roughly plus shipping from, from Totally Wicked. Honestly, at this point, I can't recommend their juices based off what I've had, so probably just get this and order in your juices elsewhere. Um... I should probably wrap it up because, again, I'm not particularly too good at this and I wasn't really intending to, you know, do a review more. I just wanted to give people an idea of what it is um, who haven't seen it before. Um, if you're a smoker now, I can certainly recommend at least trying it out. Obviously, don't go for something like this right away because if you don't like it, you are wasting a lot of money. But you can pick up a starter kit for ones that are just as good but don't last as long battery-wise for about $30 or $40 shipped. Um, there's an Australian vendor now shipping these out. He can't ship you the juices, but he can ship you the e-cigarettes themselves. Um, and I believe he's available at ecigs.com.au. So ecigz.com.au. Um, if you want to have a chat with other Australians or just ask around about juice, shipping times, who you should order from as well, uh, I can just suggest checking out the new forum that we've got up, which is forums.aussievapers.com. So a u -S, s i e v a p e r s. Dot com. Uh, there's quite a few people on there, including the Australian vendor, who will be more than happy to, to, to have a chat to you about which ones you should or pricing. And he can get them to you within a few days, provided he's got stock. So if you already have juices or something lying around, it's, it's, it's probably worthwhile. All right. Well, I'm out.